What's up, you guys? Welcome back. I'm Danielle McLean, and AKA Legacy, and I just talk about lots of random different things. So today we're gonna talk about wealth, how to get rich, three things you must do. The first thing that you have to do is you need to remember what you wanted to be when you were a kid. Imaginations are so powerful. They literally are the magic dust, stardust, that makes the universe create for you. So if you can remember how to use your imagination, and when we were kids, we were experts at using our imagination. So what was the thing that you wanted to be when you were a kid? Think, hold on to it, make sure you get to the third thing because it's gonna come back to that. So the first thing you wanna do is remember what you wanted to be when you were a kid. The second thing that you wanna do is figure out what thing you're most passionate about in the world that when you think about it, if you were fixing it, if, let's say if it was a problem or you're making the world better in some way, you were inspiring people, or maybe you had some kind of technology that you were developing, or you had a way to connect people, or you had ways to bring people closer together, whatever the thing that you had, you are so passionate about it that nobody pays you to do it. You just talk about it. Like, what do you talk about when you're hanging out with your friends and family? Not coworkers. What do you talk about when you're away from your J-O-B? What is that thing? It doesn't have to even be a new thing, but what is the thing that you just love talking about? Okay, now, try to think if there's a way that you could maybe make money off of that. If you don't have it figured out yet, don't worry, we're gonna get to that in number three. So the first thing you have to do is remember what you wanted to be when you were a kid. Use your imagination. Think about what did you wanna be when you were a kid? What did you wanna be when you were a kid? When I grow up, I'm gonna be this. CEO of a humongous company or a billion dollar company the, I'm gonna develop I'm gonna be the next Steve Jobs you're not gonna be the next Steve Jobs you're gonna be the first you you're gonna be the first you people are gonna be saying they're the next you second thing you got to do is you have to <clears throat> pull not push so that thing that you're most passionate about you don't feel like you're pushing people to do it you don't feel like anything you don't feel like you have to push it. You don't feel like it's like an agenda you have to push on somebody. It's so inspiring. It pulls you to where you actually feel like you don't even have a choice but to follow it. I've been that with, with my career and my company that I'm creating. Sometimes I'm, I just wanna tell it to shut up because I can't be pulled right now because I'm busy doing other stuff. But it pulls me in that way. It pulled me to quit my job. It pulled me to pursue it full time. I'm so happy that I did. I've never been happier in my life. And it's so, it's just the thing that inspires you. So whatever gives you that pull. The third thing that you have to do is you have to literally obsess about it. And this part is actually gonna be where the magic happens. So, and my dog's over here, <gasps> huffing and puffing. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear him. Anyway, so the third thing you have to do is, and this is where the magic happens, is you have to obsess. And so a little trick that I learned was to write down just like, I'm like an index card, maybe a piece of paper like half this size. You can, you're probably gonna write a bunch of them and you guys do not knock this until you try it because I am living proof that this works, okay? I have used this so many times in my life. I used this when I was an intern and I wanted to go from an intern to a co-op so the company actually would pay for me to go to college. I used it when I, when I got and then I used it to get my position where I wanted to be and then I used it, I didn't like the, I got the position I wanted to be in, I got the money, I got the insurance and all the benefits, but I didn't actually like what I was doing in the group that I was on. So then I used it to actually start a group that I was on. And then I started the group and then I realized, gosh, there's too many layers of management doing this group in this company and it's too hard to get things done. So then I started working on how can I do this as my own company? Now I have my own company and I'm doing it. My company is called Happy Takeoff, coming soon. So more on that later. Um, so what you're gonna do with this, with this piece of paper is, and literally, you can use an index card. You guys, I've had to do it on, you can do it on toilet paper, you can do it on anything. If you're at your job right now, if maybe you're in the bathroom watching this, I used to do that all the time. Maybe all you have is a piece of toilet paper, you gotta write this on. 
sometimes it's like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to write down, I have whatever your money amount is, okay? Or I am making a million dollars a year or $10,000 a month or $100,000 a month or a billion dollars a year, whatever it is, okay? Put down how much you're making, not I want, I am, okay? I am making blah, blah, blah dollars a year by, and this is important. Now, by, you need to put in the things that you thought about in number one and number two, you need to put those in on the thing. So, like mine says, I am making, well, actually, one of mine says people are giving happy takeoff millions and billions of dollars to connect them to other people. Literally, that's what I had written down. It evolved. Like, I changed it a bunch of times because at first it was just like, I'm making millions, happy takeoff is making millions of dollars. And then it was like, well, what are we doing though? And so, um, and we might, um, and I might even change it up some more because now I'm seeing some more opportunities of things that we're going to do. And the reason I'm so excited and inspired to talk to you about this video today is because I literally was, um, and we're not done with number three yet, so keep watching, but I literally was, I was focusing on this so long. I had this, okay, people are paying happy takeoff millions of dollars to connect them to other people. And I didn't know how or why, but I knew that I was really good at connecting people. So I just kept connecting people and kept connecting people. Today, literally, and I, I didn't want to get it messy with like saying, okay, well, I don't want you guys to cut me out of the deal. So I'm going to go get attorneys and you have to give me this much. I didn't even do that. I just trusted the universe will work it out. The universe knows. You guys, I am not kidding. I got a phone call today. So the one of the people that I connected, it's it's big. He goes, um, he goes, well, Danielle, you're the one that facilitated all this. So we want to make sure that you get a piece of it. I was just, I had to contain my emotions because I just wanted to laugh because I was like, literally, he was almost saying like word for word what I had written several days ago. And the universe is very interesting like that. So, so what, now just writing it isn't enough. Okay. So you're going to write it on this piece of paper. I like to use an index card because they're a little bit thicker and they last longer. So you write your sentence on that paper and say, I am making millions of dollars by, um, by right, by creating an app that will, um, connect people to their best friend. I don't know. They're who knows, you know, whatever your idea is, you don't have to have, you don't have to have all the details figured out. Just whatever you're passionate about when you were a kid, it could be playing with your best friend. Okay. Whatever it was, it didn't even have to be maybe what it is when I would grow up, just something that you loved doing when you were a kid that you wanted to do when you grew up. Okay. So I am making millions or billions or thousands, whatever the amount that you, now make it realistic because I had one that was like billions. I had a card that was billions and I actually got a little bit of anxiety um, because I was like, I don't even know how to manage billions of dollars. And that kind of made me realize the universe would still give it to you. But if you don't know how to man, if you don't believe it, if you don't know how to manage it, then you probably won't get it. So make sure it's something feasible that you feel comfortable. Like, yeah, I could manage that much money. So like if you're used to having like, I don't know, you know, $3,000 a month, then $10,000 a month is doable. But if you go from like $3,000 a month to $100,000 a month, that might be too much. It might be like, well, that gets, you're going to maybe attract a lot of people that, you know what I mean? You don't want it to be so far um, out of your um, comfort zone. You want it to be out of your comfort zone, but you don't want it to be so far away from like the people that you know and what you're used to having because you don't want it to attract like leeches and stuff. You just need to experience what it's like to have somewhat in that range of money before. So, but it doesn't mean you can't step it up. You're used to having like a hundred dollars a month. This is safe. We're used to having a hundred dollars a month and you're just starting out and this is the first time you ever did it. Then maybe shoot for a thousand. Okay. And then after you get a thousand, then do 10,000. Then after you get 10,000, then a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand, a million. Okay. So anyway, um, so, now, after you write your card, then the next thing that you want to do is you want to put it in your pocket every single day. If you don't have pockets, ladies, I've had to put it in my bra. There's been times I've had to put it in my underwear. I've put it in my pocket every single day for 30 days, no matter what. Okay. Some of them, one, there's a couple times I accidentally flush it down the toilet, make a new one. 
make a new one and maybe when you're making your new one, a new idea will come up that you can tweak it a little bit, make it a little bit better. 30 days, do it, I guarantee that you will be on your path to greatness and you probably will have the money in your bank account, okay? You have to do it, you have to do it. It will change your life. Those are the three things you must do to make you rich. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. I wanna know, did you do this for 30 days? In fact, leave me a comment and write what you're gonna write on your paper. If you, that's another thing that works. If you put a comment on lots of YouTube videos that say, I am, I am the CEO of blah, 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 or I'm earning this much money, put that in the comment. That actually solidifies it as well. That's another thing that you can do. So you can put it in the comment, but I still wanna encourage you to put it on the paper and do it for 30 days and bring it with you everywhere that you go, 30 days, and then come back in 30 days and tell me how it worked, you guys. Share this, I'm telling you it works. It works, it works, it works. Good luck. Can't wait to hear how your adventures go. Love you. Bye.